Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to read a CSV file in R and how to analyze that file. So first of all, uh, we need a CSV file and the CSV, CSV file is a text file in which columns are separated by comma. So I have created a file with three attributes, ID, name, salary, everyone, each of these attributes are separated by comma and I have saved this file on desktop. So first thing in R, if you are using R Studio, what you have to do, you need to check what is your present directory. So you can check that with this instruction get wd. So if you can see right now, I am uh, uh, in desktop directory. So if this is not in your case, what you can do, you need to set uh, your working directory as you can see here set working directory choose directory and uh, here you need to select where you have your csv file so in my case i have my csv file on desktop select folder so you can do this thing so next thing what i'm going to do i will read that file so read.csv and in this one i will write the name of the file and uh, let me print so I'm going to run this program so it's uh, reading data uh, correctly and it's printing that now before analyzing these data I need to check whether uh, the data read in this variable is uh, according to data frame or not so here there's a function and in this function when we will pass this variable data so if it returns true it means this is according to data frame now we can perform our analysis so let's say I want to fetch a particular column so if you want to fetch a particular column write dollar symbol and write name of any column so let's say I want to fetch name so let's see what will happen if we run this instruction so it will give you name as you can see here now let's say I want to see the maximum salary so I'm going to use a function max and uh, I will apply this function on salary column so it's giving me 50,000 salary now let's say if, the, if this file is very large and I, I need to see how many of them or which person is having salary 50,000. So you can do this thing with the help of subset function. So in this function, first you need to pass the data, which is our this one. And the next thing is that we need to pass the condition. So what we want, we want uh, data where salary equal to 50 thousand so let's execute this program uh, this instruction and print value of d so let's see what will happen so if you can see here it has fetched successfully this instruction this uh, sorry this data where the salary matched 50000 so you can apply uh, these kind of conditions like uh, who is having salary greater than 50000 uh, who is having a particular name so you can run all those query in this format so this is uh, all for this csv file in the next one we will see for excel file thank you very much for watching